It thrills. Sup family, it's your boy Nate, aka Tabasco Sweet. You're watching Cheap Thrills. You already know what it is. Damn family, I gotta say, I love New York, but your boy's very happy to be back in LA, where the weed doesn't cost $60 for an eight. No offense, New York, but your boy is keeping it Chanel West Coast. RIP Big Black, true OG. Speaking of Kush, your boy's vaping days are over. I'm keeping it analog, family. So your boy's formally resigning from Vape Nash. I'm back on my bull family. Thanks for always sliding in with those very clean requests in the comments. Now your boy's always skeptical about sequels, but today, I'm chefing up the very rare Pizza Hut Pie Tops, too. Now you might have noticed, there's an extra chair in the studio today. That's because I'm gonna be joined by a culinary whiz, a guy who knows his way around a slice of pizza. Talking about my boy, Victor Pope Jr. Come on in, my guy. Hey, what up, man? Thanks What's for up, having man? me, baby. How you living? Good, man, of course. Yeah. Who else am I gonna have on the show? Right. After that Will Caesar experience we had together, we go way back. So what are we gonna be making today? You already know what it is, you know? Another day, another DIY. Today, we're making some $7,500 shoes. Oh my God. So what makes some $7,500? Well, the thing about the Pie Top 2s, mm. there's only 50 of them made by legendary LA shoe customizer, the shoe surgeon. Okay, yeah, that's real wonderful, but I, I still don't see why they're $7,500. Well, the thing about sneakerheads is, if you build it, they will come. Also, I heard there's a button that orders you a pizza, and another button that pauses your TV. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. I love that. It's like yeah. you can pause your show like when your pizza gets there. That's what's up. So like, in, like included in the cost, is it like a lifetime of free pizza? Ooh, it better. If you're paying $7,500 for a shoe, and it doesn't come with a free lifetime of Pizza Hut, that's a dead giveaway. Now, to be fair, they didn't always cost $7,500. Oh. Yeah, these things originally retailed at 150, which is still too expensive for your boy. Oh, that's hot, yeah, yeah they tax him. But it's all good, we're gonna make some. So have you ever worn a $7,500 shoe before? No, I don't, I don't think I've ever even had $7,500. Well, you're in luck, because we're only making you a pair today, because it's pretty much impossible to find shoes in my size. What's your size? 14, my guy. Oh, I mean, you got baby feet. Baby feet? Yeah, I mean, it's like the size of a baby. <laughs> All right, so these shoes come in two colorways. There's red and wheat. Which one are you feeling, my guy? Red, all the way, I love red. Damn, all right, keeping it saucy. Yeah, you know me. So, enough f***ing around. You ready to get cracking on this DIY? Yeah, let's get it poppin'. Here's what you're gonna need, family. Red and white foam and a pair of scissors. Red fleece, mylar, and your trusty blade. Black, white, and red paint pens. Generic red high tops. Red pleather, I'm talking matte and glossy. Now the first thing to turn this $10 shoe into a $7,500 rig slammer, we're gonna need to cut out our accents and our red fleece and our pleather. I hope you know your way around some scissors, my guy. It's time to get cutty. So Victor, what's like the tightest pair of kicks you ever owned? Uh, some Yeezys. I won them off my roommate, and uh, it was a dice game. Damn, talk about a come up, my guy. Wait, so if you're playing dice for Yeezys, I mean, mm -hmm. what was on the line for you? I was gonna pay his rent. <sighs> yeah. Damn. So what kind of Yeezys did you win? I don't know. I don't really keep up with shoes. I just wanted them. Damn. You hearing this? Man doesn't even know about Yeezys, and he's still flexing a pair. That's called living lavvy. Now, speaking of the opulent lifestyle, if you had unlimited racks, what would you blow it on? A NHL team, probably. So what team would you buy? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna cash out on the Mighty Ducks. I can already envision it, man. You see you like rolling out on the ice. You got your lowered custom Zamboni. Talk about a slam bony family. So what would you buy if you had an unlimited amount of money? Well, first thing, mm -hmm. a house for my moms. Then, pretty much just be on my God's plan family. Giving back to the community. You just be throwing out money in the hood like Drake. I think I'd buy my mom a house too, but like a smaller one, just to keep her humble. Yeah, you know, keep it economical. You know, I'd probably buy my mom a small house too. One bedroom, a dog house in the back mm -hmm. for Gary. Who Gary? <sighs> my stepdad. Mm. He doesn't even play, he's such a narc. Oh, mm -hmm. So you got any stepdads? No, I don't think about getting one though. Yeah, I do not recommend it, man. All right, we got all our shapes cut out. We got our marinara splashes, we got our back, our front, 
the tops, and our sides. So how are we gonna put all these on the shoe? Oh, it's time to call in the guns, my guy. You know I keep that MF thing on me. Oh, it's, it's all right, dude, I got you one too. Oh, focus, focus gang. Two things about this shoe. Mm -hmm. These lines here, not very clean. Mm -hmm. And this little pool tab, yeah. it's gotta go. That's why. So, just cut that thing off. Bye. Now, we take these strips and glue them over here to cover up the lines. So we're gonna start by putting some glue over the top, covering it with our matte pleather. In the words of a literary genius by the name of Lil Pump, Let's get it. We're gonna put this part in the back here, and then we got our own custom pull tab. Make sure to line this up with the bottom edge, and then glue away, my guy. Damn. These pizza shoes are making me hella hungry. What's your favorite pizza topping? Pepperoni. A classic man. Respect. Mm -hmm. Dang, now I can't wait to get over this gluing part and get to that part where we have like that button that orders an MF pizza. Yeah, yeah, we need that button. Sure, yeah. we need that button. All right, next step, put the sides. Um, I ain't even gonna lie to you, dog. I'm, um, uh, yeah, I'm not doing the best. I'm going through it over here. You know what? Understandable, my guy. Here's a little secret for you. I always design one first as like an emergency tester. Oh. So like, don't even worry about that. We can just double team this one, man. Oh, that's high. Yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. flip it. This is gonna be the left shoe. Let's bring the right one up to speed. All right. So how can I help you on this one? I'll line it up. You hit it with the glue. Oh yeah, I'm real good at gluing. Thanks for helping with all the gluing, man. Yeah, you know, I, I got a little talent, a little, little gift at gluing. Now next, we're gonna turn this Mylar into our signature cheese grater design on the side. Now if you don't have any Mylar, just use a shower curtain. Pro tip, cut from the bottom so your mom doesn't notice. Oh man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel like that's gonna take a minute. Well, I thought you might say that, so your boy clocked some real DIY hours uh, oh. over the weekend before you got here. I love your work ethic. It's hot. Your boy does what he can for the culture. But uh, while I'm cutting this out to insert in our shoe, you mind taking the laces out of this one? I got you. So like, what's the grail piece in your closet? I got this uh, uh, this orange coat. It's like the same color of the, uh, the Star Wars fighter pilots. Star Damn. So what do you wear with an orange coat anyway? You're like on this like high visibility swag. Yeah, I want everybody to see me. You know, I got my cross cord swag going on. Damn. Oh yeah. That's what's up? On that Virgil Abloh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. So what do you think about him taking over Louis V? Like, think it's gonna be good for the culture? Or you think he's just gonna crash it? No, no. I just hope he has fun. You know what? Me too. I just whipped this shit up in Gimp. You know, you get your Pizza Hut text, cut it out, then you got your Pizza Hut on the sides. You know, choosing a font like that, it's like they want us to rip it off. You know, it's funny, a lot of the streetwear brands, they just choose the most basic ass fonts. All right, so now we take our text, we're gonna slide it in and uh, trim it down to size. Pizza goes on the outside, and the hut goes on the inside. All right. Looking pretty good. Now we're ready to slide in our cheese grater mesh and glue down the edges. Now we're gonna use our text as size reference for our cheese grater mesh. So you got any like dope projects you're working on? You know, besides this one? Yeah, working on a, uh, maybe a stand-up special coming soon. Uh, yeah. Trying to orchestrate another dice game for me and my roommates. Damn, you stay busy. I try, you know, I try. All right, now we just hit it with some glue, my guy. Okay. Do the honor. You know, we're almost ready to come in with that marinara on that. Splish, splash. Oh, I've been ready for that. Yeah. Or as uh, the Italians call it, marinara. Been watching a lot of Sopranos. I mean, I love the Sopranos. Yeah. Ah! Now it's time to bring in the splash. Next, we just line this up with the toe. If you had a shoe that could order any kind of food, what kind of food would you order? Broccoli and cheese casserole. I love casserole. You don't need to order that. Doesn't your mom's make that? Mm-mm. Well, what's your mom's signature dish? Uh, she like she like really like her plates. No, no, like, like what food is she like really good at cooking? Meatloaf. Damn, meatloaf? 
I'm on my way. I'm inviting myself over for dinner. I mean, you welcome anytime I try my mama meatloaf. Okay. On the plate. Next, we need to make our pizza ordering button, our TV pausing button, and our charm for the shoelaces. So I'm gonna cut that out with my foam. You wanna poke some holes for the laces while Oh yeah, while I got that? you. Yeah, I'm gonna stab it, stab it up. And I bet you guys are wondering how a piece of foam is gonna order a pizza, but you'll just have to stay tuned to find out. Now it's time for our paint pens. So why don't we divide and conquer? Can you uh, hit the logos on the sides while I fill in the buttons? Oh yeah, I can draw the logo. There you go. Now our TV pausing button is black, so we're gonna use our black paint pen to fill in the edges. All right, well the TV pauser button is drying, so let's glue in our uh, pizza ordering button on the top of the tongue. Now just dab it with some glue right in the center. All right, as you can see, we've got our marinara splashes, accents in front. Victor did a great job on these lace charms. Appreciate that. What's up? We got our pizza ordering button. We got our TV pausing button. Our mesh, everything. Shoes are looking great. Yeah, yeah, I, I still don't know how it's gonna order a pizza though, dog. Well, you see, I hacked this button so every time I press it, it sends my mom a text that says, I'm hungry. And then she knows to pop a pizza in the oven. Cause, you know, mom's got frozen pizzas on Dola. What a lovely woman. So we're gonna shove this button inside the tongue, right behind our mm. real button. Mm. But we're gonna have to do a little surgery, so. Have at it, my guy. Scalpel. And you wanna make sure the button falls right behind our phone button, too. Very clean. Fuego alert. Damn. These MFs are hot and ready, family. All right, well, since I can't flex these, I'm gonna need you to do it for the team. I mean, I ain't gonna let you down. I got so many places I wanna take these to. My grandma baby shower coming up. Oh. So I was gonna, I'm definitely wearing these to them. Wait. Your grandmama's baby shower? Mm-hmm. All right. And my grandfather's. Damn, look at that. Just a couple family mans. About to flex this shit on the ground. Family. Okay, yeah, these shoes look pretty dope. They look magnificent, but you know, I've been, uh, I've been, I've been pressing the button. Is the pizza coming? Oh, yeah. Damn, you been blowing my mom's phone up. All right, the pizza's ready. I'll be right back. I doubt. Out, my guy. <laughs> so pepperoni is your favorite, right? Yo, your mom's did her thing, man. Thanks, mom. Anyway, let's flux the shit for the grand. Thanks for watching, Cheap Fiddles fam. Make sure you tune in every Tuesday for some more heat. Smash that like, hit me with those comments. If you're not subscribed by now, what are you doing? Also, make sure you check out my guy Fat Tony's show, Thrift Hall. He knows a thing or two about balling on a budget. Until next time, gang gang.